Gems, it's your lovely sisters here, Kedna and Stephanie. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. In today's video, we're going to be talking about something that we have implemented in our lives that has changed that has changed it drastically. But before all of that, before we start, I would like to have this disclaimer out there. If you are under the age of 21, we are not inviting you to drink and talk with us. If you're going to drink anything, it shouldn't be alcohol. We do not want to participate in any underage drinking. But you can definitely tune into our conversations. Um, you're more than welcome to tune in. Um, we just don't want to encourage underage drinking. We don't want anybody thinking that's what we're encouraging because we're definitely not. My sister and I, we are both over the age of 21. So guys, we're going to give you guys 60 seconds to grab your drink before we begin. Time's up. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, guys. So my sister and I, we've actually implemented something very powerful in our lives. And we wanted to share this with you. It's almost like a secret and kind of not in a sense because everybody's talking about it. Um, but it's something that we've experienced ourselves. Something that we actually have a testimony in a sense because it's made such a drastic change in our life and we've kind of want to just share it with you and hopefully you guys can give it a try yes so i'm gonna go ahead and um start it off so i can honestly say for a long time i have not been i guess the happiest that i knew that i could be and for a long time i knew that you know what i was doing i could do so much better and i was meant for greater and i could do greater and I just never really knew how to put that thought and that feeling into action mm -hmm. yeah. until I started doing a little bit of research and I've even started like reading a lot of books about just living in the present and being in the now and not living in the past and just setting yourself up for the future <clears throat> that I realized that everything that comes out of your mouth is so powerful whether it is good or it is bad so make the most use your words strategically make the most out of your words and use your words to work for you if something bad happens in your in your life or even in your day or whatever take them as lessons because everything is a lesson so instead of looking at the negativity look at the positive side of things you forget your lunch well i guess today that means that i was meant to go pick up some food and i get to treat myself today you know and just don't forget to speak power into yourself as well every single day remind yourself of how beautiful you are how intelligent you are or or handsome of course um how powerful you are how divine you are don't forget to speak positive into yourself because you are a receiver. So if you're only speaking negative things towards you and only um, seeking out and focusing on the things that are wrong with you and the things that you don't like about yourself, that's what you are going to continue to see on a daily basis. But if you're continuously telling yourself how proud you are of yourself and how beautiful you are and how much you love yourself, that is what you're going to continue to see on a daily basis. You're going to find more and more reasons to love yourself and you're going to see yourself in a better light. Yes, and I definitely love how you said that, sis. Everything in general takes a toll and takes a part of your being, in a sense. Just yeah. how you treat yourself is very important. And I think a lot of us do not notice that it's, a little goes a long way. Just by, I could say, transferring your energy into something that's more bright, more positive, and more, you know optimistic yeah. that will change you as an individual and i can speak about this all day because um i'm someone who used to suffer from depression mm -hmm. when i was younger and now i feel like you no one would ever know if i didn't tell somebody that no one would ever know yeah. and that's a testimony in itself i just feel so grateful that i'm able to say that because i know a lot of people 
don't get the chance or the, or the opportunity to say that yeah. and i feel like what's really what has really helped me um and what's continuing to help me in that journey is just me being mindful of how i'm speaking to myself how i'm handling myself you have to handle yourself with care and the more i realize it and the more i implement that the better i feel what i've done um, that's been changing my life on a rapid scale is that i've been reading affirmations and i know so many people say this and i've known i know so many people have tried this and i've done this in the past as well i've tried affirmations especially when it was very popular mm -hmm. and i felt like i didn't i didn't really feel the change but you what i be ready for the change yes and what i can say now guys is that i feel like the difference between back then and now is that now when i read affirmations i'm ready mm -hmm. for those things that not only i'm asking for but i'm oh, affirming yes. i feel ready for it. i feel like i am in the position to receive at any given moment I, and that's the difference that's literally the secret that everybody was talking about mm -hmm. that i could never understand or i couldn't reach i couldn't reach my full potential because i didn't know or i didn't feel like i was deserving of it and although i Oof. tried to convince myself that i was i truly wasn't in that energy mm -hmm. and that's exactly why things weren't changing for me i love that and you are absolutely absolutely mm -hmm correct you have to be in that energy ready yeah. and open to receiving open, yeah you have to shift your energy into an energy of receiving you have to be able to receive because like i said before we are receivers so if you're ready to receive positive and change then that's what you are going to receive if you're not ready to receive that and you're blocking that those things um out then you that's exactly what's happening you're literally blocking your blessings you have to be open and you have to be direct and certain of what you want if you want to be this person and you have to decide i'm going to wake up every single day and be the person that i want to be be the person that i portray to be yeah i truly love that because i think a lot of us have this misconception that manifesting and affirming has a lot to do with just that specific thing but it's also about actually um putting yourself in that position to do it yes. but you have to put in the work you have to put in the play and the more you do it the more you receive what you want it's like you're basically driving to a destination you cannot mm. just sit home and expect to just end up at that destination if you close your eyes and have a thought you have to think about going to that destination and then you actually have to drive to that destination Oof, i really like that example I think you are absolutely right, sis. You have to think about where you want to go and then take the action to get to where you want to go. You can't just think about it and then it just appears out of thin air. Mm -hmm. That's not how life works. You think about it and then you, when, once you receive the ideas, you still have to be open. You yeah. have to be open to receive. Once you receive the ideas and you have those thoughts in your head, now That's you have to actually do something about it. What are you going to do with those thoughts? Are you actually going to put it into action or do you, are you or are you just going to allow it to stay stagnant and you're mm -hmm. on your mind so it's our job to get that will moving yes. and a lot of ways there's a lot of ways to do that but one way is affirming what you want that's something i personally am doing now and my sister is doing yes. and it's been making a drastic change in our life and like i said before we weren't in that energy mm -hmm. to receive but once you become and you're willing to receive and you're affirming so you're not just you're you're not just open to it but you're also affirming that this is what it is yes. because when you're open to energy you, that means you're, you could be open to anything Any, so you yes. have to put it in your mind and in the minds of others and whoever's listening that this is what i want mm -hmm. because you're not the only one listening in general mm -hmm. you have to speak and say what you want that's why they have this saying a closed mouth doesn't get fed yeah. that works spiritually as well so just aligning yourself to it and also going for it because what i can say is ever since i've been reading my affirmations and i know what i want out of life i've been getting so much ideas i've been getting yeah. so much this opportunities or i guess to say things that i can do to reach my goal 
coming to the forefront where before you know i would never i would have never thought really i would have never thought that i would have been here it's just one thing to say it but it's another thing to actually do it yeah i think a lot of people are all talk and they're not actual doers yeah that's true two different things that's actions true. speak louder than words i would say one of the biggest thing that has helped me um during my journey of affirming is writing everything down when you write things down it becomes almost real it's like okay i've written this thing down and you start to process it a little bit differently than just thinking about it because a thought is it that's just what it is it's a thought once the thought enters your mind and it exits that's all it was but once you receive that thought and you're like oh my gosh like that is an amazing thought and you write it down it becomes semi-permanent mm -hmm. it oh, becomes yes. semi-permanent yeah. so now you get to go back to that paper and read it, read down what you wrote. Unless you throw the paper away or burn it or whatever, it's going to be on that paper. And what I use is I use a little booklet for all of my ideas. Um, anytime an idea comes in, up, pops up in my head, I write it down. Even if it sounds silly, write it down. Because I'm pretty sure a touchscreen phone sounded silly 50 years ago. Yeah. And now look, everybody has one. Exactly. So even if the idea sounds dumb, I'll write it down. Exactly. Because you never know what's going to change not only your life but the world people resonate with information differently that's why you have different forms of learners yeah. so you have to kind of figure out what works best for you and what's more effective and gives you the um visible results rather it be audio if you have to hear yourself say something to be able to feel motivated and do it and go for it mm -hmm. Or if you have to write it down or do you have to read it and when it comes to affirmations reading and writing them it's just been perfect 10 out of 10 i highly recommend if you have a reading and writing learning style i highly recommend when it comes to affirmations that's interesting well me personally i would say that i read and write my um affirmations you know, every morning I wake up and that's that's one of the first things I do. I start drink water because that's important. Mm -hmm. Gotta hydrate. And then what I do is I also listen to positive music. I mean, they're not tech. I mean, there are actually mm -hmm. affirmation music affirmation out there music, that you can yeah. listen to. So uh, I listen to positive music and I also listen to affirmation music. So I'm also getting the auditory um, aspect of affirmations. And then what I also do is, as visuals, I have affirmations as my wallpaper and mm, my lock screen. Yes. So I'm seeing like it Like a vision day. board. Yeah, so yeah. technically, no, it, it's kind of reading, but that's just another way that I do it. I have it on my screen because we're always on our phone anyways. Yeah. So I have it on my screen and I'm seeing it all the time. And It's that, just a constant reminder. It's a constant reminder yeah. of that affirmation. I mean, obviously, you can only really have one, but you can like switch it out every so often. I've had the same one for like probably a month now. There's so many other ways you can be visual. You can even get creative. Maybe you can have stuff up on your ceiling so yeah. when you open your eyes you see affirmations you see. Yeah. yeah so it there's really no wrong wrong or right way to do this like yeah. you could really go above and beyond you could put affirmations all over your home they're mm -hmm. just reminders your daily reminders and they you know connect with your receptors and it's a, a subconscious thing i feel like some of us have fallen into the trap of speaking negatively towards ourselves and thinking mm -hmm. negatively and even like if we have a bad day, we just make that whole day now negative, and that's all we see now are negative things. You have to remember, whatever you feed your mind, that's what it's going to seek out throughout the day. So if your day starts off bad and now you're just in a terrible mood because you just had a bad day, everything is going to seem like it's not going your way. Yeah. But if you're having a bad day, you're like, you know what? And not even a bad day. If you woke up late for work or something, you it they, you can think of it one of two ways. You can be like, damn, I woke up late. I'm, I'm going to have a terrible day. Or you can be like, wow, my body really needed some rest. I'm glad I was able to get yeah. it. I'm going to get to work when I get to work because that job will always be there whether you're late or not. And if it's not, you can find another job. Mm -hmm. There's so many ways to make money. So my body really needed that rest. Now it's time for me to get to work, start my day and get to work. You know, so it's just a matter of how you view every single thing that's happening to you. You can be happy or you can be miserable. You are the person that chooses that 
um, at the end of the day. Not saying that we're all perfect and we're all going to be like ah, happy <laughs> all the time. You know, we are, yeah, right. We are <laughs> going to have those moments where we do slip. And that's why it's also important to be mindful of who you have in your circle, because you want those type of people who are in your circle that picks you up when you do slip. Like when you're, you when you're, uh, vibrating at a low frequency you have somebody feeding into you and also vice versa you don't want to be a vampire but you also have some you have somebody feeding into you and and raising that your vibration yeah. and um just you know and making you aware like hey your your vibration is pretty low today like you know do what you got to do to to raise your your frequency because that's what you have to do that's the best thing for you to do in order to just keep pushing and keep having a good day no matter what is happening around you and just to keep in mind that we are not in control of our surroundings we are only in control of ourselves and how we react to what's happening in our surroundings and i love that so much having a very optimistic and um a positive and i kind of don't want to say positive because i feel like when people think about positivity they just think about individuals who are happy all the time but not even because you obviously cannot be happy all of the time. We're humans. Right. And you obviously cannot keep yourself in check all of the time. But that's what I'm saying. The goal is to trick yourself, trick your mind to get into the pattern. That's when you really see the sunshine. That's when you really get a breath of fresh air. The grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> Hearing people just talk about it, I would just be like, okay, whatever. Like, you don't know my struggles. You don't know what I've been through. Mm -hmm. But it's a real thing, just transforming and redefining um, your mind and the way you look at things will make a drastic change in your life. Yeah. And a great tool is affirmations. That's why we're talking about it today. Just giving you, giving yourself that constant reminder that everything is okay and everything is still getting set up the way it needs to. It's affirming. It's in the name. You're yeah. affirming. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's okay. Okay. If that's one of your affirmations, everything is okay. Say that every day and see if you ever worry. Everything happens for a reason. There's yep. a reason why you woke up late to work the day that you did. Yeah. There's a reason that you got fired from that job. There's That's not a loss on your end at, at all because mm. we're in this life to learn. And experience. And grow. Yes, exactly. And you know that's not going to happen just willy-nilly mm -hmm. you have to learn you have to shape yourself to be a better individual to reach your higher self Oof. so all of these experiences just remember they're all experiences and everything is going to be okay yes it's easier said than done sometimes it'll be hard for me to do but that's why i'm saying guys you have to find tools that work for you and implement it in your daily life mm -hmm. don't just do it for a month don't do 30-day challenges mm -hmm. these 30-day challenges needs to become year-round challenges challenge yourself push yourself to become the best version of yourself and find out the tool that's going to help you with that yeah implement it into your life and see where you are a year from now see how drastic you have changed because i really literally started seeing change a change in me and the person yeah. that i've become after you know uh, affirming in about a month in about a month yeah I started literally seeing, yeah under under three months under three months so, under three months and i was I, I still am very consistent with it every morning wake up and i'm writing my my affirmations and just giving gratitude and that's another thing i actually want to touch on mm -hmm. because being grateful for the things that you do have leaves you open to receive more i agree because if you're grateful for what you have right now then yeah you're going to receive more because you're already grateful for what you have what so you why have not now. give you more cheers